Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my garage. The question I have been asked, and, I, and I'd like to answer for, for the person that did ask me this. I thought it, this would be a good place to answer it. Which would you rather have? Would you rather have $5,000 worth of solar equipment in your garage or a $5,000 generator outside hooked up that can run most of the house's load? And if you're asking me, I think I would definitely take the $5,000 worth of solar equipment as opposed to the generator outside. The guy who asked me this question said it was $5,000 to get a generator big enough to run most of his house and $7,500 to get one big enough to run his entire house. Uh, and I take that to mean the air conditioner and, and the heater and the water heater and, I mean, the entire house just as it stands. Uh, so... For 7500 bucks is what he was quoted. Um, I told him that for half of that, roughly half of that, I could supply almost all of his needs uh, for two days. Uh, and let me explain. Depending on your house setup, his house is set up kind of like mine. Um, his garage is below his living space. So like my house, he can heat his living space with a space heater in the garage that doesn't actually require... Uh, gas, uh, electricity. It runs on natural gas. Uh, so if the power went down here, that's what I would do is I'd come down here in the garage and I'd turn on the space heater, uh, turn it on high, and it would heat this entire garage up and then heat the floor up upstairs uh, and, and in turn heat the upstairs. Uh, we wouldn't freeze to death, there's no doubt. Uh, so that takes the heat off the table. As far as air conditioning goes, I guess if power goes down in the summer, yeah, he's still going to have his air conditioner. I'll have a fan, uh, but um, I can live without the air conditioning. It's the heat that I can't live without. Uh, water heater, yes, we will not have hot water. Um, he will. Uh, actually, I think I could actually wire the hot water heater in to run off of the Sam Lux inverter. I'm going to try that um, once I get uh, a 2,000 watt inverter. Uh, I have an instant on hot water heater, not a tank. So it doesn't require a whole lot of electricity, just a little bit. I think I might actually be able to plug that in and have hot water. The only problem with that is, is I'm on a well, uh, so I don't have a well pump. And there is the cooling fan for the Samlex. Um, not real loud. Uh, I highly recommend these Samlex inverters. They're awesome. Uh, this one's been running pretty much nonstop for over a year, or at least close to a year. Um, not a single hiccup runs awesome. Uh, 600 watt Samlex, thumbs up. Uh, if I can afford a 2200 or 3000 watt Samlex for those flooded lead acids, I, I would buy it, but I'm, I think I'm going to have to go a little bit cheaper. Uh, I hate to say that word cheaper. Uh, less expensive. I'm going to have to go a little bit less expensive because uh, I'm not made of money. Anyway, back to the thing at hand. Um, I think that you're definitely better to spend your money doing this as opposed to, to the generator outside. It sits there and it does nothing. It does nothing until the power goes out. I've lived in this house for a decade. The power's went out twice. 7,500 bucks for something that happens twice. The two times that it went out, it was out for one day. The first time it was out for four days the second time, but that's because we had an ice storm and the tree took down the line between my house and the pole and I was the only one in the neighborhood who was out for four days. Um, it really stunk, uh, but you know, barring that normal outages are only a day, uh, two at the most, uh, this system will handle it. Um, it will handle most of your needs. Uh, I think it's silly to spend seven, $8,000 for a guardian system outside when you can spend 4,000 for this and probably get your money back in a decade. Um, maybe a little bit longer, but close to it, depending on, you know, how you spend your money. So I hope that answers his question and the question for some of you out there, if you have that very same question, which way would I go? I'd definitely buy more of this. As you can see, um, if you've watched any of my earlier videos, this room is getting bigger and bigger. I keep buying more and more equipment. I'm, I'm about to my wits end with spending money on this. Uh, I've got quite a bit of quite a bit of money invested and I, I still need 1500 bucks, $2,000 worth of batteries. Uh, so I, I may have six, $7,000 in this system total. Uh, but after it's done, I should be able to run an awful lot of stuff. Um, an awful lot of stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I appreciate everybody stopping by, and thanks for, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm going to end it right here. And 
sign off. Have a good day and a better tomorrow.